holiday gift crunch, crazy shipping crisis, and container getting 2021. Yeah, container getting. Those are just some of the names of the holiday crisis that we're about to face this 2021. As if the pandemic wasn't bad enough, right? Well, hold on to your seats, guys. In our video today, we're gonna take you to the high seas as we explain what this 2021 shipping crisis really means for the working class Americans like you and me, what we can do to prepare for the impending holiday gift crunch, and lastly, three holiday stocks immune to America's shipping and port crisis this 2021. Sound good to you guys? Then sit tight, get a snack, and relax because we're gonna go through all the details in our video today. But first, a big thanks, a smile, and a hug to everybody who's already clicked that like button. I really appreciate you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and count that as my early holiday gift from you guys, so I just wanna thank you guys so much for that. But in the meantime, let me return the favor with some premium money for you guys right now. And of course, if you're all about making money, then be sure to hit the subscribe button and join the family, and let's go ahead and jump in. Now watch out guys, because our holidays may be in trouble right here. Thanks to all sorts of factors, mostly tied to the pandemic and its after effects, log jams are happening all over the world and US supply chains. We're seeing the worst of it boil over at the US ports. About half a million containers are sitting on cargo ships off the port of Los Angeles, waiting to be offloaded and on the Atlantic coast in recent days. And at times, two dozen or more ships have been anchored off the coast of Savannah, Georgia, waiting to deliver their cargoes. Here, see how bad it is for yourself. To understand the problem on the ground, you first need to see it from the air. We're flying right over the anchorages just south of the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach. This is where the global supply chain meets the U.S. economy, says Coast Guard Commander Stephen Bohr. It's record-breaking. It's unprecedented. There are more ships than there are parking spots. We are effectively operating a cell phone waiting lot in the Pacific Ocean. This bottleneck of container ships, as far as the eye can see, carries more than half the made in Asia items purchased by the American consumer. You're looking at all of the electronics. You're looking at all of the home goods. You're looking at all of the things that people are looking forward to buy this coming holiday season. Zero ships usually stay parked here. But on this day, Commander Boer counts 55 in the ports and more drifting further out in the Pacific. While worst here, the backup is at all West Coast U.S. ports. What does that indicate to you about what's happening in the supply chain? You know, I think everybody can see that things are slowing down. Slowing down and piling up at sea and at the ports of entry. This is what happens when a global economy snaps back after the COVID slump of 2020. American consumers are back buying with force, but the supply chain is struggling to catch up. We need to have an Amazon state of mind in this industry. And by that, I mean, Amazon changed everything. While shoppers click 24 hours a day, factories in Asia are still stopping due to COVID. Then in the U.S., national labor shortages and limited work hours. The Port of Long Beach is just now experimenting with round-the-clock operations. What this is is a wake-up call for all of us in this industry to realize you can't operate with the model of yesterday. The goal? Cut the wait time for truck drivers, the next link of the supply chain, moving containers out of the port. Every day, the five, six hours in the harbor. You have to wait like six hours. Six hours? Six or eight. I was in there for nine hours. Nine hours Ruben Ponce lost that he could have been moving merchandise. It means I'm making less money. Yeah, because I can't do as many rounds. National data shows there is a truck driver shortage, but Ponce says the problem is even more basic than that. So now the port is backed up, us, we're backed up, the truckers, we're backed up, everyone's backed up and it's just a big problem. So it's like a chain reaction. A, exactly, exactly. Delayed trucks means delays at warehouses like Canton Food Company in Los Angeles. I have about eight containers out in the harbor somewhere uh, are from China and Vietnam. Filled with food. Still just waiting. That means for this warehouse, empty shelves with no date to fill them. Basic economics are at play. Scarcity drives up prices. So it's almost doubled in price. Uh, I would say maybe at least 70%. Once the cheese is ready. Prices for ingredients, restaurant owner Ricardo Mosqueda has to pay. All those different products that you had to substitute, you had to change, now 30% more, you know, 50% more. 100% more. This La Taqueria brand location operates in a renovated shipping container. Churros preparados, por favor. The supplies Mosqueda needs sit out at sea in the same metal bins. 
a cruel irony after barely keeping his restaurant open through the pandemic. We we worry as far as, because you don't know what's going to happen, right? You don't know what's next. How long are these ships going to be floating out here? I really can't say how long they're going to be like this. I think uh, we're all going to wait and see how long this shakes out. Quick, drop a comment down below if you've been noticing some empty shelves in your local stores. What have you guys been missing lately? Let's talk about it down in the comments below. And things are not looking to get any better anytime soon as we're headed for another high demand, high inflation holiday season. Experts are already predicting a 2021 holiday gift crunch or shortage here, meaning that shoppers are likely to face higher prices and fewer choices this holiday season. Companies like Adidas, Crocs, and Hasbro, they're already warning of disruptions as they prepare for the crucial year end period. The CEO of CH Robinson, one of the world's largest logistics firms, said the pressures on global supply chains have not eased and we do not expect them to ease anytime soon. Another shipping line executive said in a recent statement, we currently expect the market situation only to ease in the first quarter of 2022 at the earliest. We'll talk more about how to get around that holiday gift crunch later in this video. But right now, let's look at some stimulus that we could be getting from all of this. Checking out some of last year's headlines, the 2020 stimulus check really helped out with some US holiday sales. Now, according to the National Retail Federation, US holiday sales jumped 8.3% last year to record their best growth in at least 19 years as consumers use their stimulus checks to splurge on gifts. And according to this, it looks like holiday consumer demand is set to beat that number this year. Former Toys R Us CEO, you guys remember Toys R Us, right? They hadn't been gone that long. Former Toys R Us CEO Gerald Storch argued that even if there's inflation and supply issues in the retail industry right now, nothing will stop a strong consumer momentum going into this year's holiday season. You know what can help with that? A fourth stimulus check, definitely. The NRF chief economist said the promise of a new round of stimulus checks after a deal was struck before Christmas helped increase consumer confidence last year. I can only imagine what a fourth stimulus check could mean for working class Americans this holiday season. Am I right, guys? So here's hoping to see that this happens. I mean, the support is definitely there. We've seen all the stimulus check petitions inching toward that 3 million signature mark, not to mention the 80 plus lawmakers and 156 top economists and our very own current Vice President Kamala Harris all saying the exact same thing, that we've been needing recurring stimulus checks for a long time now. Really, all we need now is a partridge in a pear tree and we'd have a whole 12 days of stimulus song happening right here. But in all seriousness, guys, let's keep our fingers crossed for a holiday miracle here, especially with this shipping crisis just looming around the corner. How bad is it? Well, I think you've heard about how the world supply chain is being stressed like never before. We're short and delayed in everything from semiconductors to cars, sneakers, exercise equipment, Rolexes. I mean, heck, we're still waiting on furniture that we ordered in July. It started out because factories all over the globe like Asia Asia closed for weeks or even months before workers were even sick with the virus. That was true and still is the case in Vietnam, for example. Now we're seeing the problem move up the supply chain to ships, which account for 90% of the world's global trade, which is 70% in containers. What we're seeing is a massive, unprecedented traffic jam of humankind's largest sea vessels at the center of it all. And so now there's too many to anchor. New ships are being told to just drift in deep water. A few weeks ago, it was even worse. Last month, a record 88 ships were sitting on the horizon, forming a line of vessels stretching south over 40 miles from the entrance of the port of Los Angeles all the way down to Dana Point. Container Geddon is what Steve Ferreria of shipping consultancy Ocean Audit calls it. A board member of the large shipping company whose family has been in the business for decades says, I don't think anyone's ever seen anything like this in their careers, anyone who's alive. Now, of course, the pandemic certainly plays a big part here. By late spring 2020, it became apparent that work from home wasn't just until Memorial Day weekend. It was until, well, who knows? That's when Americans began to buy Pelotons, patio furniture, and hiking boots. As factories came back online in Asia, trade began to boom and boom and boom. All that money that once went into movie theaters, baseball games, and tropical resorts began to go instead into buying stuff. Stuff made in China. Today, ports in the United States, particularly on the West Coast and especially along Long Beach, LA, where 30% of US imports land are unloading record amounts of cargo. And that's exactly where the traffic jam is the worst. The cost of chartering a giant container ship shot up about 10 times over the past year. But what does this have to do with us? Well, here's the deal. Shipping companies are mining money for one, and big 
companies like Walmart, Costco, Home Depot, and others have responded by chartering their own ships. For how much? Well, here's two examples we found. One of America's largest big box retailers just chartered a cargo ship for $80,000 a day for one year. A year ago, that would have been $10,000 or $15,000 a day. Here's another example. One of Japan's Sogo Shosha, or giant holding companies, is looking to charter a ship for $130 a day for three years, which would have been $20,000 a year ago. The company will have to put up $35 million for the first nine months in cash on day one. And who's gonna end up footing the bill? You think the big company is gonna pay for this? <laughs> Psych, the everyday consumer. That's us guys. Inflation is about to pop, and I'm talking about non-transitory inflation here as the real inflation that sticks around for years. Yeah, they told us inflation is gonna be transitory. Don't worry, it's just temporary. Not the case here. Higher prices are very likely here to stay and only get worse. So what do we do? First off, work your way around the pending 2021 holiday gift crunch by following some of our expert tips. Number one, use multiple money-saving strategies. Use websites which monitor price drops like Honey, whose drop list notifies you when targeted items get discounted. Then there's also browser extensions like Scently, which will automatically search for applicable coupons and apply those codes at checkout. You might even find additional discounts for first-time purchasers at a retailer or for subscribing to their email list. I know Kohl's is really good about sending out coupons. Anybody out here shop at Kohl's? You can also get savings after the fact. Some retailers will refund the difference if there's a subsequent price drop shortly after your purchase. Number two, expand your search. Don't just stick with Amazon, guys. Just because something's not available at one retailer doesn't mean it's out of stock at another. Google Shopping can definitely help you out with that. Pro tip here, whenever possible, choose the curb pickup option. An online order could always get canceled by retailers if they run out, so take advantage and go pick it up yourself. Option number three, widen your shopping list. It might be a good time to manage expectations and encourage your kids to ask Santa for a few different items or a few different gifts that they would equally be happy with. Have a good and honest talk with your family and your loved ones so that you can celebrate the holidays in a fun and meaningful way without anybody feeling bad or, you know, feeling like they missed out on the favorite gift that they were hoping for. Now, of course, the fourth option is to make sure you have extra cash on hand. And what better way to have some extra cash on hand than to have a way to generate extra income by working from home by having a small side hustle, maybe an online business to generate extra money from. Check out the link in the description down below for ways on generating anywhere between $25 and $50 an hour just by responding to comments on Facebook. I'll leave a link for you guys in the description down below as well as in a pinned comment. And if you have some extra cash on hand, it may be a good time to look into some of these stocks that could win out through America's port crisis. All right, so Union Pacific. Ports are running out of places to stack containers awaiting for transport to their final destinations. Union Pacific plays a major role in relieving that pressure point as their rails and trains are the best solutions to the ongoing crisis. The company has added thousands of employees and brought extra locomotives online in response to the surge in demand for transport. Eagle bulk shipping. Congestion is holding up ships, limiting their supply at a time of increasing demand. That makes each ship more valuable, and it's not limited to just containers. Dry bulk shippers like Eagle Bulk Shipping, which operates one of the largest fleets of Supermax and Ultramax vessels in the world, are also feeling the boom times in shipping that'll continue for some time to come. Costa Mare. So long as container ship companies charge their customers by the day and not by the voyage, the cost on all of these delays go to the customer while the profits go to companies like Costa Mare. And we're talking about big profits here. Over the past 12 months, Costa Mare booked $520 million in revenue. It's their best result ever. Costa Mare stock is up 150% over the past year, and it could definitely sail even farther from there. Definitely a lot to wrap our heads around with this shipping crisis here. But what do you guys think? Let me know if you have any questions or you want to talk about tips and stock picks some more. Just drop a quick comment down below. But for now, that's it for today's stimulus and money-making update. The 2021 shipping crisis, the stimulus that could come from it, and of course, the 2021 holiday gift crunch. Then of course, there's the 2021 holiday stock to buy now. Now, of course, this is not investment advice. That part's purely for entertainment purposes, but let us know what else you're curious about in the comments below. You never know, your comment could spark our next big money-making video, but I definitely settle for a quick click of that like button right here. But anyway, thanks so much, guys. Till the next time, and I will definitely see you guys on the next one. Take care.